YouTube, what is good? It's Ribs here from Ribs Doing Film Things. Every single week I drop a new video about film photography, so if that's your thing, please go ahead and subscribe. Today we are talking about this right here. This is the Dora Goodman 35mm pinhole camera. It's a DIY kit, so the camera arrives completely disassembled, and then you go ahead and build it yourself. I was basically scrolling through Instagram and I saw an ad for this camera. I'm a big fan of pinhole photography and I noticed this was 35 millimeter, which is something I don't own yet for pinhole. So I decided to give it a go and see what happens. My immediate first impressions with this camera were, shit, I need to build this camera. It comes completely disassembled and you basically have all the parts that you need, including the tools as well. At first I was gonna just go ahead and build this on my own without really looking at the instructions, but then I realized that wasn't gonna work for me. So I went on YouTube and they actually have a nice instructional video that you can follow along with. Once I was looking at that video, things were pretty easy to go from there. However, there's one key thing that wasn't mentioned in the video, and that is with 3D printed parts, you probably have to sand them down just a little bit. That made a complete difference in this build. The first time I built most of the camera, I just noticed that everything was very scratchy and tight and it just wasn't moving the way I thought it should be moving. Once built, I really liked how the camera felt in the hand. First thing I noticed was how durable and how hard it was. That's perfect. This camera's not gonna break on you and just because it's 3D printed doesn't mean it's cheap or weak. The second thing I noticed was the size. It's not a tiny camera, but it's also not very big. It's probably the size of a small point and shoot camera. It's also very sleek. There's no lens sticking out or anything like that, of course. So. You can drop this camera into a bag, a book bag, whatever you want, and you can pretty much feel comfortable that it's gonna fit nicely and it's not gonna break. The last thing you'll notice about this camera right away is the curved back. That is actually an essential piece of this camera. The curved back allows for less distortion of your horizon when taking pinhole cameras. If you're looking to use this camera outside in kind of an interesting way, beyond just the typical landscape, then that's very important. So there's three things to consider when you talk about usability for this camera. The first thing is loading the film. It's not very difficult to do, and honestly, it reminds me a lot of the old school rangefinder cameras. You basically pull out the entire slot, you load your film outside of the camera, and then you put that entire thing in the camera. And then you lock it up with the screw, and you're pretty much done. You do need to remove the screw every single time you want to open the camera, so it's probably handy that if you're gonna use this camera, you bring along one of the Allen keys with you. Without it, it might be a bit tough to open the camera. The second thing to consider is actually winding the film. This part's not very difficult either. They have a nice handy marker on the knob that allows you to track how many rotations you're doing around with the film. The problem is these knobs are a bit slippery, so I actually scratched mine to create some more friction. I would say this is just kind of what you get, given that it's a 3D printed part, but I recommend you scratch it as well, that way you can turn the knob with a little less force and a little less strain on your fingers. Lastly, the thing you need to consider is actually opening and closing the shutter. It's not really a shutter, but it's a pinhole cover. And this one has magnets, which is pretty cool because it means that you won't accidentally expose any photos. The magnets are strong enough to keep the slot closed and protected. This is kind of a gift and a curse because while on one hand it makes it nice and safe, on the other hand it does create a bit of shake. So when I use this camera, I actually manually put my finger over the pinhole itself and then I open and close the cover. This will ensure that there's no additional shake on my images and that they're perfectly in focus for pinhole style. All right, so here are some sample images from my quick shoot with the pinhole camera. These are the first shots I ever took with this camera. I will say, one of the things that makes this camera special is the fact that it shoots 35 millimeter film. I feel like most pinhole cameras that I see out there are medium format, and that's cool. But 35 millimeter is great because it gives you so many options in terms of the different types of film that you can use. Interestingly enough though, do you wanna use 35 millimeter for pinhole? That means you get to shoot a lot more images on a roll. And perhaps pinhole photography for some people is more about taking fewer shots than taking more shots. So it's definitely something you should consider. Additionally, unlike medium format pinhole cameras, which usually give you a frame counter, in this one, you don't know what photo you're on, you don't know how many you've taken. You simply rely on the rotations of the knob to guide you through the process. So it's easy to get lost and not really know how many photos you've taken, but I guess that's part of the fun as well. Another cool thing about the fact that this is a 35 millimeter camera is that all of your negatives are going to be panorama style. The negatives themselves are quite wide as opposed to the standard 35 millimeter negative. 
This brings you close to that X-Pan look, although from a pinhole camera. Overall, I definitely recommend this camera. It's probably one of the coolest pinhole cameras that I've seen, and it looks pretty badass too with the 3D printed design. If you're a big pinhole photography enthusiast or you're looking to get into it in a fun, creative way, this is probably a good way to do it. So that's what I got for you today. If you like this video, please go ahead and like. And as always, if you wanna see more videos like this, please go ahead and subscribe. Until the next video, y'all, peace.